hello everyone welcome to pm networking guys today we are going to understand basic configuration of voice over ip voice over ip stand for voice over internet protocol so in this video you will learn voice over internet means how your voice data will uh, flow on internet right how we can assume voice as a data right for that what basic configuration is required that we are going to discuss in this video okay so if you want to learn the configuration of voice over ip so you can watch this video till the end definitely i am damn sure you will get something new even if you know how to configure ip phone okay so guys here i am going to perform this lab as you can see we have one router right series of this router is 2811 right this one is fast ethernet 0 slash 0 of this router is connected to a switch and through this switch i am i have connected to ip phone this one is my ip phone 1 and this one is my ip phone 2 so ip phone 1 is connected with f0 slash 1 and ip phone 2 is connected with f0 slash 2 this today i am going to show you basic configuration of this lab right and in next video I will uh, show you the configuration of voice and data both right in the same network in the same topology here I will add one I will connect one computer to IP phone one and here I will connect one computer with uh, IP phone two and on switch we will configure both VLAN right voice VLAN and data VLAN and then I will show you what will be the configuration of your router in part two in next video okay so in this video we are going to discuss very basic things basic configuration of ip phone okay so first of all i must tell you that we cannot configure ip address on this phone directly you can see here i don't have any option to configure ip address so in configuration now power is off so first of all we need to turn on the device after that you will get gui but here you will not get uh, any option to configure ip address so first thing that you need to configure is dhcp on this router so we will configure dhcp on this router so that dhcp server can provide ip addresses to ip phone okay then we will configure telephony services on this router so guys let's begin let me take access of this router and say no over here and first of all let me configure one ip address on the interface of router so interface f0 slash 0 say no set and guys suppose ip address is 192.168.10.1 right? you can use any ip address no problem okay now i am going to configure DHCP so I have assigned this IP address so I am going to exclude this IP address from DHCP so IP DHCP exclude 192.168.10.1 after that IP DHCP pool so we need to create one DHCP pool and we can configure any name I can give any name to this pool so suppose name of my pool is ephone ethernet phone okay fine so in this pool i am going to configure a network so network id is 192.168.10.0 submit mask 255.255.255.0 and default gateway will be 192.168.10.1 and guys to configure the telephony services right so that our ip phone or you can say ethernet phone will configure and install the a feature of ethernet phone feature of ip phone from tftp server from tftp server so you as you know route we can consider router as a tftp server as well right so here we are going to define uh, one more command that will be option and always keep in mind option you will use which option 150 right 150 is for telephony services right uh, voice over IP for voice over IP you will use this option 
okay after that ip and ip address will be 192.168.10.1 fine okay so dhcp configuration is done on this router now we are going to enable right we are going to configure telephony services so first command that here you will run is see guys what you can do you can use question mark as well if you don't know any command no problem uh, in any mode you can run you can write question mark right after that they will show you the entire command that can be run on that particular mode so here i am looking for this command right see telephony service configure cisco unifield communication manager express right so i am going to type service oh my god telephony service telephony service okay now i am in telephony service mode here we need to run what command guys maximum e phone that how many maximum e phone do you want to use so i have only two e phone as you can see in the diagram right one and two so i have only two e phone so here i am going to define two okay i have maximum e phone i want to use is two after that maximum directory number okay max dn directory so this is how many uh, virtual port do you want to create for ip service uh, for telephony services right so how many virtual interface do you want to create or how many uh, suppose uh, how many virtual ports you want to create on router that is you can define from here so let me define two and you can define from one to one forty four so here we don't need to create virtual port right but in next video i will show you where i will use uh, this command as well so here now i am going to define two only right and you can skip this as well now we need to define source ip address and port number right so in packet tracer always keep in mind whenever you will perform practical in packet tracer you will use port number 2000 so here you need to run one more command ip source and source address is 192.168.10.1 which is running on f0 slash 0 interface and port port is 2000 okay here you can see the range starting with two from 2000 and ending on here so we can use any port from this range so in packet tracer definitely you will use this one okay let hit enter after running this command you need to run two more command guys auto assign right and here range is one two suppose six or uh, you can say two as well right i am saying six this is okay so in next video i will explain this uh, meaning of this command as well right because now i don't have much time so if i will explain the working uses of these things now right i'm damn sure video length will be long and now i don't have much time here actually i am making this video in very hurry right after completing this video definitely i will leave for outside okay so here you will run this command after that you need to exit from this mode now i am again in global configure mode actually these these command will be run in telephony service mode now in global configure mode go to e phone one and define which type of your e phone is so here define type now type you can use this one for cisco ip phone right this one for cisco ip phone ci pc okay let me use uh, this one seven six uh, seven nine six zero okay this one is type of my e phone okay now again exit do same thing for phone 2 as well so e phone 2 and type again 76 uh, 7960 okay and uh, exit now guys we are going to assign the dial number we are going to assign the dial number to e phone so here type 
if on and uh, directory dn number is 1 here i am going to assign number suppose 0 2 0 0 1 or we can use this one like 0 0 1 okay exit after that same thing for phone 2 as well so phone dn 2 and uh, number suppose for phone 2 dial number is 0 0 0 2 okay so this one is dial number for phone 1 and this one is dial number for phone 2 guys configuration of router is done now you don't need to configure anything let me save the configuration and uh, now we need to configure switches so before configuring switches let me turn on my ip phones right so click on your phone and then here you can see the adapter so here we need to insert the, this adapter okay now if you will click on GUI so here you can see your phone so now your phone is configuring VLAN okay so when I will configure switch then this phone will get IP address okay so now here you can see this phone is saying that configuring VLAN so now this phone is configuring VLAN so let me turn on phone number 2 as well go to physical then let me insert this adapter here ok now here also if you will click on GUI you can see configuring VLANs ok now come to switch number 1 and here guys what you can do we can run ok so I don't have much time so I am uh, running range command right to configure all interfaces together so go to interface range fast ethernet 0 slash 1 to 24 directly right I don't know which port I am using then switch port mode access switch port mode access after that switch port access VLAN 1 and as you know by default all ports are member of VLAN 1 so we don't need to run this command okay now we need to run this command switch port and voice vlan and voice vlan is vlan number one voice vlan vlan one okay so now we you have to wait for 20 to 30 seconds as you know a spanning tree block these ports okay so it will take approximately 30 seconds to come in forwarding state right because <laughs> maybe on this switch uh, we are oh, we are running um, common spanning tree protocol or maybe we are running per VLAN PVST so here on ex all access ports we need to uh, enable port fast so guys on this router if you will run this command now so IP DHCP binding right let me check no so here you can see DHCP did not give IP address to any machine till now now let me check my IP phone so here guys okay so now IP address is not assigned on to this phone as you can see VLAN down okay port link now you can see IP address of this IP phone is 192.168.10.4 so see IP address has been configured on both IP phone on this phone as well ok see IP address of this phone is this one MAC address of uh, phone is this one modal number uh, see what modal number what modal number you will define there right you will get that modal number here you can see modal number is 7960 and name of this device is IP phone 2 IP address of this IP phone is 192.168.10. I think 3. Let me check again. Yes, 2, 10.2. Okay. And MAC address is this one. Okay. Gateway is 192.168.10.1. So, gateway is router. And on router as well, you can check right by running this command. So, IP DHCP binding here you can see this one is IP address of IP phone 1 and I think this one is IP address of IP phone 2 
so let me show you ip of this phone as well so here you can see ip address of phone one is 10.4 now guys dial number of this phone is 1002 dial number of this phone is 1001 so i am going to dial 1002 from this pc as uh, from this ip phone because dial number for this phone is 0002 so guys uh, click on the iphone and then go to gui and here you can type so i am going to dial one zero sorry not one zero 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 and one and let hit enter so see my phone is ringing and on the second phone ip phone 2 if you click here you can see someone is calling so this phone is ringing okay this phone is calling and this phone is ringing here we can receive it right by clicking over here so you can see connected now these two phone can exchange voice information over network so this is how we uh, transfer voice in the form of data right voice over ip means guys uh, your machine your router switches will consider the voice as a data right then they will convert data into analog definitely uh, at receiver side again they will convert analog into uh, voice okay so that's all for today if you like this video please don't forget to hit on like button if you have learned something from this video guys it, it's your responsibility to subscribe this channel so please subscribe this channel right if you guys will not subscribe definitely it will be very difficult for me to make more videos so if you want more videos please subscribe this channel then only i can invest my time uh, more here right as you know i uh, my CCI exam is also near right so we I have to spare some time for exams as well right because we are going I am going to give two exam lab exam as well as written exam okay so okay guys that's all for today if you like this video please subscribe this channel right and if you want notification whenever I will upload next video please click on notification button thank you thanks for watching bye bye